Hello YouTube, Scouting Dad 97 back here again. I have a short little tutorial on how to make a hovercraft for your Cub Scouts. All you will need is a, uh, a round flat disc. These are uh, actually uh, hard drive platters out of a hard drive. I own my own computer repair business and uh, I disassemble a lot of stuff to get really cool things. They also make really nice signaling mirrors. Uh, if you're interested, as you can see, that is my ceiling fan in my kitchen. Uh, a top off of a uh, bug juice or a hog wash or whatever brand. A water bottle will work. Um, top off of a uh, old dish detergent bottle will work, but it, a little bit trickier. Uh, basically, you want something with a little edge on it right here. Uh, and some crazy glue. Or super glue. Stored generic brand. And, of course, a balloon. You blow up the balloon. The air travels through. Out the hole and it pushes the disc up enough that it'll move around. I'll have a short video of that here in a little bit. Basically, you take your top, center it in, take your crazy glue, and glue around the edges. Uh, it's a little bit easier to do this with a CD. Trying to bond plastic to plastic is a lot easier than trying to bond plastic to metal with super glue. Uh, but I was unable to find any of my old CDs that I really didn't care for anymore. Uh, I'm going to stop the video here and I'll show you what it looks like uh, with one of these that I have finished here in just a minute. Alright, just really quick, uh, this is probably something you're not going to want your scouts to do by themselves because they will undoubtedly super glue their fingers together. Uh, the best thing to do is you can either use hot water with soap, uh, fingernail polish remover will work, the stuff that is 100% acetone works a lot faster. You uh, fill up a small dish with it or uh, get it wet, get your fingers wet where they are, and it'll actually uh, a little loosen it up so you can peel it off a lot more uh, effectively without ripping off layers of your skin. All right, well, let's get right down to it. I'm going to blow up this balloon, and uh, we'll show you how it works. Okay, here we are on the floor. Um, this does need to be done on a smooth, flat surface. It will not work on carpet. Um, some tables that have the uh, rough textures, it doesn't work as well on those either. Um, as you can see, the balloon is inflated, and uh, the stopper's on, which actually stops a lot of the air from getting out. So to start it, oops, you will pull up. And if you push it, it'll go, but there we go. Doesn't last very long. The kids seem to enjoy it. Uh, this does need to be done before your meeting to make sure that the uh, the super glue is dry. This one I think does have a small leak. Um, actually, you can see in there under the glue. I didn't let this one dry completely, and I aired up the balloon and it shot the super glue out all around the edges that you can see there. So I'll need to re-glue this one before our meeting tonight. Uh, this, to my knowledge, doesn't meet any particular requirements. Uh, we'll be going over um, Air of the Wolf tonight and doing a lot of air-related experiments uh, and activities. I just felt that this was uh, something cool that the kids could do and take home. Uh, we're also going to be making various types of paper airplanes, testing them to see which ones fly better, and uh, making balloon rocket ships, which I will uh, be posting in my next video. All right. See you guys later.